Hi everyone, welcome to this video which is a continuation of the live I was doing earlier today actually but you may not um, be watching them <laughs> one after the other as I'm doing them. Uh, this is a part um, component of the uh, lap book that we're doing. So we've got uh, this front flap done We've made a little vellum pocket and the only thing I think I've done since the live was I've just backed that in uh, coffee stain paper. So that's, it's finished. It needs sewing around at some stage, but I can do that later. Um, so we're on to pretty much the decorated envelopes. Now these two pockets here flap down and I would quite like put a decorated envelope on each. Now I could put them that way, like that. Let's move this so you can actually see what I'm on about. I could put them that way like that so when you fold that down it's there. Um, but it's a bit awkward really for getting things out of. So I could put it like that so it just flaps open there and you can get your note paper out no bother. So if I had that one that way flapping there and then on the other pocket had one that way flapping there then I think that's all right. So I think that's what I'm gonna what I've decided I'm gonna do. The other thing that I'm not 100% sure in my head of yet is whether I'm actually going to put one on the top of the page like that um, it could either go behind the pockets or in front of them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it would just be an extra thing to flap out. I think it might be just one thing too far, to be honest. Um, but it is something on the back page. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. Um, and on the, the other flap, the right hand flap, Oh, I've got so much stuff around me today. Uh, this is the the flap itself. It's going onto that. It's going to fold open like that. And then I'm putting this DL envelope, which just fits onto there. And I'm making it, I'm going to cut the a V out of it, both top and bottom, so along the middle, so we can have a journal card in there and a journal card in there. Right, so far so good. So I definitely need to decorate that. I definitely need to decorate two of these. I think that's probably going to be all I'm going to do, just two. So let's pop that away somewhere clean and safe. And I've already uh, got these to this stage with a bit of gesso and some watercolour, which is on the video previously, the live that I did. Um, and I've decided to put some decoupage on them. I think they'll look just the next level up with a bit of decoupage on. At least that's what I think. So I have got out my napkins that I think are suitable. Yet again, let's go through them and see what we think is the best. They're very nice, spring-like. These butterflies are really nice. I don't know if they'd stand out enough, but they are nice. Uh, this one that I used the last time, which is it's come to be my favourite really, I use it a lot. And the fox, it, it, he's got to be included somewhere. I've got this hair, but I think he's he's a bit too big for our requirements. And then there's this sort of meadow one, which I'm going to discount as well. So there's the fox, the butterflies and this. Probably not the butterflies. I've also got this this one. Did I show you this one? Um, which is nice and bright. Might stand out quite nicely. But now I'm going back to the old favourites. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? When you get a favourite in your head, you just can't get past it. I'm sure the others are equally as good. But um, you just can't get past it in your head. So I'm going to start with the the large envelope 
and actually I'm going to cut it first so it's um, so I can see where it is and I have got a template for this I cut a template first I'm going to sew it along the middle just make sure we've got this right sew it along the middle and that folds up to there and that comes down to there yeah and I've just drawn the lines so I think it's always a good idea to have a template so I know where you're going so I'll just cut these out and the pocket the envelope itself is going to be the pocket you know, inside the envelope. I'm going to stick the entire, let's throw those out because I'll end up getting confused for something. Um, I'm going to stick the entire back of the envelope down and this is going to be the pocket here. So you cut your ink. This is what I'm trying to remember. Every time you cut, you need to ink. So I'm going to do that. I must say, making this um, lap book, it's, well, I wouldn't call it a labour of love. I mean, although in the strictest sense it is, I'm really enjoying doing it. There's a lot of quite complicated paper folding going on which I enjoy, and I enjoy working out the order that things go in, etc, etc. Because it's not quite as straightforward as you might think. Right, so this is the centre that's going to be sewn. So I'm just going to fold along there and just ink along that centre there. So it looks... And, I mean, even now, that looks much better to me than it, than it did. So let's tear some of this out. It's going like that in the in the journal, so we don't need to worry about upside down, right way around, etc. It's going that way. So what can we have? Um, well, that's, there's lots of pretty things in this uh, napkin, but you know what? Whatever napkin you've got, just use it. They, they all look lovely when they're on. Pretty much all. You don't want anything too garish, obviously. But I mean, I spend hours selecting napkins. <laughs> I spend hours selecting paper too. I mean, <laughs> heaven's sake. So if I put that up there, that will come down like that. Yeah, that's probably all right, I think. Although they actually look like they're growing upside down, so I can't be having that. I can't have upside down flowers. So that could go there, do you think? Yeah, I think that would be fine. Okay, so as you know, if, you, if you're new to decoupage, every napkin, virtually every napkin, has got three layers, uh, two which are plain tissue, and then the top one, which has actually got the, the pattern on it, the ink on it. And it's just that top one that you need. There's still a layer here to come off. When you, when you do get the other layers off, you'll see that it is absolutely really thin. Like that. That's the wrong side. So I've got a straight edge there, which I normally would shy away from but I've got a straight edge on my envelope so that's fine. Let me bring that down a little bit more, bring it down to there I think. There we go. So I think that'll be all right and the, the backing paper I've never found a use for it yet so just chuck that out. Um, for my decoupage I'm using fusion, um, fusion mineral paint, decoupage and transfer gel. It's just a matter of my preference. I've tried many, I like it best. But you use, you know, lots of people like Mod Podge or whatever. Use what you're comfortable with. Just 
I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get my glass board out. I think is the thing to do. Maybe, yeah, probably is. No, I've got too much stuff around me. I'll get a bit of tissue paper out. So make sure that's right at the edge. And then you just start from the middle, centre of your tissue, and gently brush your whatever medium it is that you're using out from the centre over the edges. And you'll see as you do it, the white that was the tissue paper starts to become transparent and you just can't see it anymore. So make sure that you've covered all of it. Be gentle, it's one ply of tissue, you know, it doesn't have much strength, much inherent strength. So that's nice. I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut the main overhang off. There. You can sand it off when it's finished, but this is just paper, so sand, sanding it off might be a bit more tricky. So I'm just going to cut it off. There we are. So that's pretty. That's a nice start. And I might put something down here. See what I can find to go there. It's growing the right way. Th this napkin, which I guess is why it is my favourite, has got these sort of grape hyacinths on it. And I absolutely love them. Grape hyacinths, muscari, whatever you want to call them. They're, they're definitely my favourite spring flower. I adore them. Um, and I'm thinking that's why I really, really like this napkin. Right, let's see if that's going to be okay. Have that just poking in from the side there. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. I'm not going to get this yellow chap in, so I'm going to tear him off completely. There's no point, you know, if I can't see the colour. And I don't need any additional tissue paper. So yeah, like that, and I think that'll be fine. So I'll just take the... Don't forget to take your backing uh, tissue off because it ends up <laughs> a real mess if you don't. And I speak from experience. I'm sure if we are honest, we've all done it. Um, but you're putting it on, you think, why is this not going on properly? And then, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I've got it right down to the bottom point, and I'm just, just bringing that in from the edge just a wee bit. Same, same, out from the centre, over the edge. And, you know, be respectful of it. As I say, it's one, one thin bit of tissue. So there we are, I think. I think that's improved it. I like it better with that on, definitely. So, yes, it's an improvement then. I'm just going to have to make sure that I haven't glued up this pocket. And I've got a piece of acetate somewhere for that job. Now this is organised. I have a piece of acetate here that slides down into my envelope to stop it sticking together. That's the theory anyway. There we are. No? It's a very tight fit. I can't get it to go in. That's it, I think. Yeah, great. That's marvellous. So that can dry now with impunity. It's not going to stick to the other side. And it looks looks nice. I like it. That's the right way up that way. Okay so let's 
stop looking at our handiwork and tell, telling ourselves how good we are and move on to the next one. So these are going, one's going that way, the other's going that way. So we want the pattern to be going with the, the direction. Um, a nice little bit there. Might be too big, but I can take off the pink if I need to. This might be too big actually, but we'll see. What, what side? No, oh, I think that's okay. That will be okay there. I've just got a bit too much tissue paper here, really. on there. I've got a straight edge there so I'm going to make sure it's really close to that edge. So it's pretty much smoothed out. Let that dry. They do look pretty actually. Well, these dries, I think they look pretty. <laughs> so what we're going to put on this one? Ah, I think I'll go for the grape hyacinths again. I've got a little bit here with a yellow flower on that can always stick on as well, which I might do just that. I'm just going to tear that along there. Grey Pisons, I've got stems there, but I don't think we need them. I'm going to put that there. Yeah, and put that there and those there. I think that'll be all right. I think so anyway. One more to go, one more piece of tissue. Come on. The rest of you have all been very good. There's no need for one of you to be awkward now. Oh, I'm just checking the time because I didn't want this to be much more than an hour, really. Because I think you get fed up after an hour. <laughs> I'm just going to put this a little bit on first. There we are. And we'll pop this bit on alongside it. Come on! Never does this, you know, when you when you haven't got the camera switched on. I know you hear everybody on YouTube saying that. Oh, it doesn't do this when the camera's not, but it's true. It just, it's just ridiculous. As soon as the camera's on, all your toys start misbehaving. So same thing, center out. So you 
pushing all that air out and you're sticking this down and as you do it you see all the white of the tissue disappear and you know you've done something right and it's stuck down. Oh, I was going to put a fox on, wasn't I? I forgot about the old fox. Shall I put him there? Yeah, might actually. I'll put, put a fox on. Forgot about him. Do I want him on? No. No, you know, I don't think I do. So that's me finished with my tissues, I think, for the time being. Uh, all of those ones, I think, that I showed you came from Sainsbury's. So they're just readily available in supermarkets. You don't have to go uh, seeking them out. You can do your craft shopping while you're in Sainsbury's, which is pretty good. So I'm just tidying these edges up. Um, They'll need another little tidy up when they're completely dry, but just to take the worst of it off. Right, so that, I think, is our our envelopes done. I'll save these two in my uh, drawer of completed envelopes. <laughs> How amazing is that, that I have a drawer of completed envelopes? Well, to me, it's pretty amazing because <laughs> I'm never that organised. So, there's our three that we've done I think you'll agree they do look a bit more a bit nicer with that on right so let's get back to to what we were busying ourselves with today so yeah I, I think I'll just leave those a little bit longer just to dry before I start putting them onto onto here. So the next thing then that I need to do is to make up this um, this flip here. So I just need to put some ink, some of that green uh, Ad Adirondack green ink down here. nice green this I, I really love this um, shade of green it's possibly my favorite color I think a while ago I'd have said that turquoise or teal was my favorite color but I think I've changed to this I love it right so that's that these by the way that um, I refer to laughingly as boobies because they kind of just look like that um, these I bought at Hobbycraft and the crafters companion I really like them for applying ink so I went to Aliexpress and bought a load now I haven't arrived yet so I can't tell you what they're like but when they do arrive um, which you know in this the way that the world is at the moment it may be some time of course um, but when they do I'll let you know what I think of them and if they're worth ordering them or not because if you've got lots of coloured ink then it means that you've got to buy all this gubbins uh, and it's not cheap so right this has been cut so you know what happens don't you you cut it you ink it yeah I'm actually learning my own mantra bit scant there. Right, okay, that's good. Happy with that. So we need to attach, that's how it's going to look, which is pretty, I think. So we need to attach this as we attach the rest with sellotape. So let's just make sure we get it right this time. 
that's folding over that way so that's how I need it like that sorry if you can hear that it's the dog rolling around I don't know what he's doing Bobby Right, so the trick to this is getting the gap right for the flippage. So I'm going to line that up on one side of my of the of the grid on my uh, board, and I'm going to line this on the other side. This is going on top of everything, so I'm going to need a f sort of fair bit of clearance, really. So I'm going to try it at that. I'm not going to press that down because I'm almost certain that moved. Just going to try that first. Yeah, I think that's fine. We don't don't want it any tighter than that for sure. So I'll um, stick that down firmly. And of course this sellotape is going to be covered because it's going, going to be stuck down into the book and this one's going to be covered because it's got this piece that we've just been busy with it's going to be stuck onto there. So that hides the sellotape. I mean it does a great job does sellotape, don't get me wrong, but it's not something that you particularly want to have on show in your journal, I don't think. Well I don't anyway, I, you know, it has its place. So, she'll glue this down. Ah, yes. That's the point. I think I was going to make this into a pocket. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was. That was the intention. Got the sellotape sticking out there. Be gone. I've already told you I don't want to see you. Right. Uh, yeah, I was actually. I was going to make this into a pocket. So in that case, I need to um, put some lines on the back where I need the glue. So it's nine inches. So what I'm going to do is mark off at an inch, and that can be the, the border, top and bottom. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Could do with it. I've got a blue biro around here somewhere. Okay, this one. Right, so I'm going to mark it not there, an inch in and an inch in, then uh, two inches. So one, two, there, two, there, and two inches, one, two, and half an inch there to there. And then I've got two inches, one, two there. So these channels here are where I can glue. It seems convoluted, but if you don't do it, you're going to end up in a mess. That's all I'll say to you. And you don't end up in a mess. Who does? So I'll just put a gentle line down there. I'm using a quilting ruler, um, which is quite helpful because I can line the edge of the paper up along the bottom to give me a good straight line. Um, a lot of people I know do, can, can do this by eye. I can tell when something's not right by eye, but doing this sort of thing, it's just it's just easier if you've got a ruler that helps you out, or so I find. So these channels that I'm marking out are the channels that can have glue on them and need glue on them to leave room for our tags that are going to go in there.
It's an inch down there. Right, okay. I'll just I'll just measure up half an inch, but I don't really need to, but I'll do it anyway. For the sake of completeness. There we are. Right. So I'm not going to use my glue stick for that. I'm going to use some Aileen's Super Tacky. No, not Super Tacky, just Tacky. I have got Super Tacky. I've got Turbo Tacky. But today, for this job, we're just using plain old Tacky. I just watched a video this morning by Nick the Booksmith about different sorts of glues. And it, yeah, it's mind blowing. <laughs> it's just ridiculous how many sorts of glues there are for supposedly the same thing. You know, we're sticking a bit of paper to a bit of paper. How many bits of glue do you need? But, you know, I've got, just looking at me now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight different kinds on this table. I mean, that's just ludicrous. It's ridiculous. As I say, all we're doing really is sticking paper to paper. <gasps> right, so I've got plenty of glue on there, probably way too much. Right, so we're ready to stick us onto here. Make sure you get your bottom corner on and it's square and you square along that bottom edge and the rest should follow, which it does. Give it a good push down. Make sure we've got good, good stickage. There we are. Right. So, I mean, actually, you know, it's taking shape. It's doing really quite well. I've just got a little bit up here. It just needs trimming. So it's as well to trim these things when you see them because you think, oh, I'll do that later and you forget about it. So that's that. And I'm just going to go around there now with some ink. How come everything we've made recently has been like bendy, foldy, blinking madness? Bendy, foldy madness. That's what I should call this video. Down this edge here. Doesn't need a lot, but it, it just makes it look a bit more finished. Like somebody's cared enough to do it. Right, so. Excellent. So now we move on to our envelope pocket. Before I put it in, I'm going to sew along the middle, which will then give us two, two pockets either end. So I just need to mark the middle of my of here so I know where I'm sewing it. Um, not where I'm sewing it, after I've sewn it, where I'm going to place it. This would have been so much better if I'd snapped the end off that said 15, 16, 17 instead of the 3, 2, 1, which was... Never mind, I'm kind of used to it now. So... It's nine inches, this, so I need four and a half and a pencil. Oh, come on, I've just been using a blooming pencil. <laughs> I don't believe this, I've just been using it. Oh, well, go for the viral. Uh, one, two, three, four and a half. There, and same on the other side. I hope my pencil comes one, two, three, four and a half. So there, so that's where this needs to go. I'm just going to nip and sew down a little. There we are. So this needs to get glued. It's there's not much room to play with here. It's pretty near the edges. It looks nice, doesn't it? 
So I'm going to use my, um, I don't know which glue to use. Oh, it's a dilemma, isn't it? Shall I just use my blue stick? I think so. I think that'll be enough. This is not any great weight attached to this. And I don't really want to get it wet because I've got my piece of acetate to stick through, but of course I can't stick it through now. I've sewn on it. So I'll just use glue stick. Blue glue. I need to order some new glue sticks actually. Seeing as my pound shop is now no longer open at the moment. I can't really grumble about that given you know the major things that some people have going on in their life. But I will anyway. I wish it was open. <laughs> Right, let's get this stuck down. Oh, just going to stick that there. These have been envelopes quite a long time, so I'm not sure that the flap still stays shut. Right, that's the right way up, I think. So I've got my little marks, which I actually can't sort of see, but I know they're there. So that one's all right. And is that one in the right place? I just couldn't find my pencil. Just needs to go a little bit more like that. If I get my edge square, then the rest of it's going to be square, isn't it? And that's just in as well. Yay! That's great. Marvellous. So let's give that a good friendly persuader. If it looks like this glue glue stick isn't actually up to the job. Um, I will come back with my Aileen's tacky glue but I think so far it looks all right but we'll see once we get the journal cards in and stuff if it if it really is up to the job. So excellent. So we've got all our flaps in. So the next thing to do is to make a start on the on the tags and everything. Oh no, we haven't got our envelopes in yet, have we? These envelopes. We have got them made, so it's not a big job. So I want that to be looking at me when I pull the tab down. It's just a little bit of spare. There's my sanding block, here it is. A little bit of excess tissue on there. So I'll just take my sanding sponge. Knock it off. When it dries completely, and I mean completely, which I think that is, you, you can just take your sandpaper and just gently go over it. Just gently. And you'll feel it's just so much softer and it, it looks and feels really like it's absolutely part of the, it's been there forever. So we want it like that. We want to flip it out that way and put some note paper and stuff in there. Could have put some decoupage on there, but I didn't. So need to find out where that's going. Might use my six inch square ruler for this because uh, it's shorter. So that measures just like three inches. So where's the middle? Five inches. I wish I knew where my pencil. 
I don't really want to be putting biro everywhere. Oh, just, Justin's got a new one. Two and a half, and I said it's just light of three inches. So that's one, two, and that would be three to there. So it's about an inch and an eighth in. Let's just check that. Yes, that's quite alarmingly good. And how long is it? Four and three quarters. They make these things awkward sizes, I'm sure, just to just to annoy us. So I'm just going to put a line up there, and that is where that's going to go. There. Where my flappage is going to go. Excellent. Let's stick that one down. I'm going to stick it down with Aileen's little bottle. This should stay in place. It's folding very freely. I don't think we need anything to keep it in place. I don't know when we've finished and when we've stuffed it. We might have to put some Velcro on the front flap because there might be just a bit too much pressure on it to want to hold itself shut. But we'll see. I don't want to put it on now in case we actually don't sort of need it. Right, so this is going along here. Just like that. Oh, goodness me. There we go. And just with your bone folder, just make sure that you've got really good purchase there. Squeeze out any glue that's excess so you can get rid of it now. Lovely. So that's that one. When that's dry, completely dry, I'll come in with my um, this rear and just persuade it even more to be flat. Um, but so far we're not doing badly. So that's that one. And then this one. Where are you? Here we are. So that one's gone from that side that way. So I'm hoping that we can do this one. Yes, from this side this way. Marvellous. It's all going a bit too well. Uh, right, okay. So I need to come in an inch and an eighth. An inch and an eighth. Like that. Draw a line down part of it anyway. So you've got a guideline. Glue it up. I might put some washi tape over over the inside of it because it doesn't look very attractive really so I might put some washi tape over it we'll see let's plunk that down no such thing as plonking we're not plonking Situating carefully. <laughs> so there we are, that's that. Situated carefully. <coughs> Just make sure it's you've got it firmly firmly attached. So you see what I mean? This bit it it didn't get the um the treatment, the watercolour treatment. So I think I'm gonna add some um washi tape to that at some stage. So right, a bit of glue seeping out there. Let's clear that up. And there's a tiny little bit of decoupage here. 
just needs tidying. There we are. Right, stick the end of my glue. And, you know, pretty much that's, that's the build, if you like. That's the build complete. Now we need to do all the, the tags and all that sort of malarkey. Um, big tag in here, big tag in here. Journaling card, journaling card. Uh, three tags down here. We'll go in there. Um, so I think I'll complete those off camera because you really don't know how to need to know how to make journaling cards and stuff. You know, I'm sure you could teach me how to do it. So I'll bid you adieu at this stage and I'll catch up with you when, I've, when I'm doing something more exciting again. Thanks for joining me. Bye.